So my name is Victor. I represent Ubuntu, one small town. And we were there already found seven of Catalyst. And this helped, we didn't get any found, but it helped us to shape our white paper, to shape exactly our project. So basically, we imagine uh, a perfect world full of harmony and abundance. And we are cr creating this world now in our lifetime. So we are not waiting for others to uh, fulfill this dream for us. We are creating it now. And we have a plan, 17 years in making. It's a plan called One Small Town. Basically, we want to regenerate a small town from five to 50,000 inhabitants anywhere in the world. We have a plan where we can uh, go into cities and work with the mayor and the city council and to create business plan. So to regenerate businesses that have to close because of you know, capitalism or any other issue that we face in this world. So we have a plan to open business plan to regenerate uh, the whole city and to have all the volunteers, all the town's people to come and work, volunteer their time, only three hours a week. They come, they volunteer their time toward one of the businesses. And in exchange for that, they will have access to all the uh, products, all the services that the town and our network of town we have around the world can produce. And at, at term, for only three hours a week, everybody will have abundance. Everybody will be able to go and work towards his talent, towards his natural talent, his passion. And for three hours a week, we can create in a city of 10,000 inhabitants, we can create a, a billion dollar uh, company, basically. So that's the plan. And for this plan, we need some tools, some technology tools. So we come into the blockchain. We have created a token, the one small token that is on the Cardano blockchain, obviously. And we will use it to, um, to raise money, but also to raise awareness on our plan and to have more and more people contacting us to open new one small town, new town in every country we can think of. So the first uh, thing we would like to do for that is to open stake pool. We have already signed with many mayors around the world. The first one is in Lebanon, near Beirut, and we have other a full county in South Africa as well, and we'll open stake pool in this location. This way, anyone that lives in this location can uh, delegate their savings, life savings to the stake pool of their own town. So having the benefits of the stake pool, we all know. And they will also give like um, a tax. They will give some money to the town to run all the businesses. So we want at start to open one stake pool by town, but ultimately we will open one stake pool per, per businesses. Because we'll have for a city of like in Beirut, near Beirut, 10,000 inhabitants, we have 50 business plants. And we will, during the year to come, open one stake pool by businesses. So everyone can go and delegate to the business they want to help, they want to uh, see in their full potential. So that's the first thing we will open, stake pools. Then we will also create an NFT marketplace because for each businesses of each town, we'll create collection of NFT that will represent a share of the uh, benefits, like dividend. So anyone in the world, even if you don't have one small town near you yet, you can buy an NFT or delegate your money in a stake pool and you will directly contribute to the businesses and to the regenerations of the town. Then another tools we need to develop is the time equity wallet. In our system of abundance, remember all this is to give abundance of all resources to everyone. And the real um, measure of, of value is time. So we need a wallet that will register the, the time that someone can give toward his community, toward the, the businesses of the town. And in exchange of his time, he will have equity to exchange for the diverse uh, products and services that all our network can produce. Then as well, we need a smart contract. We need to develop many smart contracts to make everything work smoothly and to have the benefits, the real benefits of the blockchain in all our organization, because obviously it's a worldwide organization and we need the best, more advanced tools, the more, the more recent technology that we have in our disposition. 
and the smart contract are one of them. For example, the, the, the main purpose is to have all the town free from exterior um, forces, from exterior capitalism forces. So we want the volunteer and the members of the town to be 100% the owner of the businesses. But at start, we will need exterior investors. So we'll develop a smart contract that we bring investors into the businesses. And at some point, when they have three, uh, tripled their investment, there's an exit strategy. They will need to sell the NFT, or they will need to sell their share of tokens to the town's people. So at the end, 100% of each businesses is owned by the people. Then another, another technology we need will be the smart card to exchange uh, with the wallet, to uh, pay for product with a token, or even to identify uh, one small town members, identify his talent. Uh, everything will be recorded on the blockchain. So we need a smart card that will connect the blockchain, the wallet, and the identity of the person. So to tell you more uh, about our plan, about where we are in the world for now, we have the progress update. So we have ambassadors in many different countries, in about 20 countries so far. In Lebanon, that's where we have the first uh, one small town near Beirut. The city is called Rast El Maten. And we will launch the 50 business plan in the next two months from now. Then we have South Africa, where Michael Tellinger is from. Michael Tellinger is uh, the head that thinks that since uh, 17 years now. So he's from South Africa and there he went to sign recently with a full county of more than, I think, 200,000 people that want to implement uh, one small town in their location. And we have ambassadors in USA. Soon we should have TCR, which should sign with some mayors in the US as well to implement this plan uh, in this country. And in other part of the world, in Canada as well, uh, in Canada and like in South Africa, we have the tribal land, the indigenous people that are very much interested by, by all this and that represent millions of people. So we have a very strong community base that will uh, use all our tools, buy our token, delegate to our stake pool and from many parts of the world. To make all this work, we have uh, the global office. So I am part of, I am the blockchain uh, reference. And we have many key roles that we share with different individuals to uh, organize ourselves, to have some uh, blueprint of organization, to create business plan. We are always looking for new um, inventor or business planner, entrepreneur to create for us for one small town business plan. So for this, we are open for collaboration, partnership, people that want to grow food, that want to grow food in one small town or any other things energy, uh, technology, anything you can think of, we are interested by all the technology or all the businesses that will help to regenerate all uh, the, the, the town uh, from the world. So if you are a business planner, you can contact one of our ambassadors. You will have uh, the website, onesmalltown.org, our official website will find a page where you have all the ambassadors contact, you can send an email, in contact with us and we'll be sure to, to see if your business plan can uh, be used in the, and spread in uh, all our town. Also part of our plan is to bring electricity, new technology to uh, really help to go out of the grid of the centralized government and state. If we go out of the electricity dependence, we can really have town that are fully independent and for that, we have many contacts with brilliant investors, uh, inventors, sorry, inventors that have new technology, free energy um, generator. So this is, uh, we have also our website for the Open to Planet Technologies that you can go and see what technology we have already. We also have an application that will help to register every members, every contributing members, every volunteers, their talent, the three hours a week they are giving to, the, to their town. So we have an app to centralize all this information. 
even for our voting management at some point to have uh, election or else we can uh, make evolve this application to have votes on the blockchain. So this is the team. Michael Singer is the CEO. He's a researcher, scientist, authors. He has written a book called Ubuntu Contributionism, uh, which is a 300 page document that details in very great details the, the plan of one small town, how to implement it, how we have seen for 17 years before I reach uh, this simple plan at the end. We have uh, John, which is uh, the treasurer and the co-founder of the blockchain initiative. He's a financial planner in uh, Toronto, Canada. As myself, Victor, uh, I will be the project manager. I am a blockchain uh, educator. We have also James Byrne, that will be our developer in chief and the stake pool operators, which is uh, actually a research scientist. We have a legal advisor, of course. Human Ocean's officer, Julia, that helps us with the coordination. We have uh, Fayez, the media director and the marketing director as well, that will that help implement in uh, Rassel Maten, is also the Lebanon ambassador. And we have digital marketing manager, Jason, that will create all our websites and all our uh, need of marketing. So that's it. Uh, if you want to stay up to date, we have a Telegram channel when we give news about where we are at in the world. And we have also the YouTube channel of Michael Tellinger with more than 100,000 uh, followers. And that's it for me. Thank you for listening to me. If you have any question, I'm here. Thank you, Victor. If you, anyone in the room would like to ask you, ask him something, just go ahead and mute yourself. I had an idea just 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 while while I saw you presenting, uh, talking about the Isle of Man. I I do know somebody who works in like in very high-end watchmaking there. <laughs> I wonder if like I can get a connection there because uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, it's a, it is a, still a small town, a, a, a physical, you know, a, a small entity, but it's, it's they, they have like a watchmaking culture there, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, we, we are interested by any kind of yeah. partnership, relationship. So be in contact with me. Uh, yeah, we'll make I'll reach out to him as well. Yeah. yeah. Great. And yeah. we'll make them in contact with the uh, Hill of Mine ambassadors. If you yeah. know also any town, if you have, uh, you know, people in a specific town that like, can yeah. go and talk to the mayor. Makes sense. Also, uh, yeah. for, for sure, for sure. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, that was funny. Thank you for that. <laughs> Has any other question? Any other question? I believe not. Uh, so, Victor, if you would like to wrap up and we can move to the next presentation, please. Yeah, sure. So, just to, to finalize on this, uh, we asked for this fund $100,000 um, just to uh, open three stake pool for Hassan Maten, South Africa, and for the global offices create our website, and uh, we will start to uh, fund this ourselves, of course, through the sale of our tokens. But as we are on Cardano, we are expecting Catalyst to, to help us, to partner with us, and to find great collaboration. So that, that's it. Thank you. I thank you, Victor. Uh...